hi welcome to this marsh diffusion tutorials video well what you see here is the end result of actually literally a couple of weeks work a couple of hints over here as to what i've been through and had to uh achieve basically i learned a lesson the very very hard way that uh we all know getting lug nuts off there's lots of youtube videos about how to get them off when they're on super tight because the tire shoppers use the ratchet and put them on way over tight well this video here is all about what happens when you snap off your bmw security lug nut see that normally has a little bit sticking out which sticks into the head of lock nut right there fits into the pattern and then you can undo the lock nut but if your lock nut has been super duper tight done up a couple of times and you manage to snap that off then you are in all sorts of trouble because this is a high security lock nut if you see a complete lock nut here we'll put it together it uh, goes together like this and you end up with a spinning ring on the outside here so if you the standard way of getting lock nuts off is to shove on not a six point like that but a 12 point socket uh, ram it on over the top and then you're able to turn the wheel or you can get lug nut easy outs but when you have this security ring all you do is bite into that ring and it spins and as you can see the lug nut does nothing at all that there you can see i, I belted the socket on and got a really good hold on the ring which then spun and did nothing at all so i had a look online you know what can we do what can we do come up with solutions and they were showing one guy's like, you know, just bang it, rough it around, and you will manage to break the head off. They're explaining how this bolt is here. It's very hard to get to see these, but the head sits in on a spline. If I take that ring out, there's a spline in there and in here, and the head, that goes in the spline. When you then put your lock nut into this fitting on the top, it turns the bolt, gets it in, gets it out. The weak spot of this assembly is not the spinning ring, not the spline. The weak spot is the flower shape on the genuine BMW lock nut, which is right there. Mind you, this car's 12 years old, so, you know, how many sets of tyres and how many things has it had going up and down? But uh, these do snap off. It happens pretty often. And so far as the home gardener goes, getting these out... I tried all the methods. I actually had it happen to two cars at the one time that I was working on, uh, Exhibit A and Exhibit B. They are different patterns, different cars. And I worked this one here. You can see the, the marks that's on it here where it was rubbing. These are the mags that were locked on. Now, the catch is, look how deep in that lock nut is. It's right back up there. And the security lock nut is um, even further back. So it's a long way back in there. To the nut so when you get your socket in over the top of that lock nut you can see there's very very little play so what happened yes it was tight and then you can see i've been hitting it with a hammer to try and loosen it up but what happened very soon you ran out of room in the tunnel and that little ring did go sloppy but there was no way it was coming off it just absolutely wasn't going to happen so this would turn with an impact wrench or with anything else it would just spin on that nut and i couldn't hit it anymore because i was up against the side because of the depth of the wheel it was defeating any sideways movement to try and break that ring off so i also had a spare on this which didn't have the depth and i do believe if i had a hammer on and the lock nut was on the spare it actually wasn't without the depth here i do believe that we could have got a lot more success and maybe broken that off but if you got the deep dish forget it where i started because i figured i could always just get some more lock rings like i've ended up with here where i started was just trying to get these out thinking that shouldn't be too hard because when the lock nut slides on that slides out but when this breaks out it's actually like a spring form in that it's not loose in there at all i tried with a strong magnet i tried with you know little tools like this with super fine little points to try and hook it out and it wasn't moving a millimeter and both of them so i had two goes and then it was like, okay, hit it with a chisel. You just got to keep banging it till it pops out. All the different advice. Well, over three or four nights, I just kept on going. Eventually, I was trying to hit this with a chisel in order to try and get it to turn. And I could get enough purchase in there for it to grab onto. But because the nut was broken, of course, it was super tight. So I wasn't able to get that out. There was no success with that as well. So even chiseling and trying to get it again, the depth that this was in made that an extremely difficult task. There is a special tool 
have a look at this image here. BMW dealerships have this special tool. Some really good tire shops will have this special tool. You might be able to look up and find if there's a tool shop, might rent it, that would be your best option. It has a slide hammer so that what basically happens with the lock nut here, the, the tool has a system which slides over the top and it grabs onto the lock ring and that. So it grabs those two and comes over, then you tighten it up on these two here. And then it's got the big slide hammer and you slide the hammer and hit it and impact it, and you actually pull that off, leaving that in the wheel. So you can see that's got a spline, which is like the original BMW lock nuts with a spline, different pattern spline. And then it also has a, another tool in the same kit. So you can hammer the spline fitting in, and then it's got a half inch drive in it so you can get your big wrench, and then you can undo the nuts and get them out. So this, is what these this style of BMW lock nut looks like when they're pulled to pieces, when they've had the head pulled off. So if you are trying to do it yourself without that special tool, what you are trying to do is get this ring off and the special tool actually grabs the ring and then the slide hammer pulls it off. And then if you can manage to do that, then you've got to get a spline drive that matches that or something that you can jam in there. Or even then, at that point, you can use one of those easier lug nut removers or bite on the outside edge because you've lost your spinning ring at that point. So that's what it looks like in pieces and what you need to do in order to pull it out to get it out. So once I um, had someone come with that special tool and uh, pull the heads off these and get the bolts out, I then had three more lock nuts still in there. So so watch the next video and I'll show you how I got those out.